In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add dynamic text to a map. In this case here, we're looking at a template, um, the template view, and we want to add some information about that drawing on the right side here. So we'll go ahead and uh, go to the Insert tab up here, click on that, and you'll see that there's a bunch of different things we can put in. We can add a picture like I've already done with the Washington State logo. Uh, you can add scale bar, legend, uh, a neat line, which is just a box. Um, you can color that and shade it however you want. Uh, in this case here, we're going to look at dynamic text, and so if I do click on the date, you can pull that down here, and that date is always going to be current with whatever the current date is, not the date it was inserted, so that's why we call it dynamic. Um, we can also come in and do things uh, like the coordinate system, and this will be one that you guys will uh, pull in here frequently. Now I want to show you here that sometimes you don't need all the information that's listed here and to sometimes simplify that if you right click and go to properties um, you can after the datum you can basically pull um, whatever's listed outside of that and that will go in um, and we'll just basically pull out some of this data sometimes it's hard to recognize exactly but if you look at it long enough and and try a few times you can get um, just the part out that you want uh, so we'll go ahead and go to there, <clears throat> hit apply, and you'll see that that got rid of the um, other uh, <clears throat> components that weren't necessary in our specific scenario. Now you'll notice also that sometimes this it extends far beyond where we want it to go. You can come up here to after where it says coordinate system and just hit enter and apply. And you see that that's going to um, box it up a little bit more. And if you want to change the text height, do note that you cannot actually change it from here. You have to go into change symbol. And from change symbol, I then can bump this down a little bit to make sure that it fits inside of that title block. Uh, so we'll hit OK there. And then you have a coordinate system information that, that fits inside. Uh, so that's how to add dynamic text. There's plenty of other options, but that shows you how to do it.